Hi, this is David. It's February 7, 2011. This is a short video about Android wallpapers using GIMP. I'm going to create a template in GIMP and then use the template to create the wallpaper. I'm using a PC with GIMP 2.6.11. I'm using Ubuntu 10.10, .10, but this should also work with Windows. My Android tablet is a Kobe Kairos MID7015 using Android 2.1, 7 inch screen that's 800 by 480, and the app I'm using for the wallpaper is Wallaby. The screen that I have is 480 by 800, so I need a wallpaper that's twice that wide. So I need a wallpaper that's 960 by 800, you double the smaller number. Once you do that, then you divide it into sections that will be visible. The Android tablet only shows a part of the wallpaper at any time. So we'll divide it in vertical quarters and then horizontal. You flip it, the top 480 will be visible, just the top 480, and that will be centered. The GIMP tools I'll use will be files, create, clears, fuzzies, it's transparencies, You'll see, but this page will let you come back and get more detail if I don't explain it fully. So off we go. First step is File, New, and I said I want 960, 960 by 800, and OK. Now I'm going to use the tool that's called clone and a note on the user interface I've added tabs here with add tabs so I have the layers and the tool so I'm using the tool called clone tool I'll set the op opacity to 50% I'm using a circle that's 11 pixels scaled times 1 so it's 11 pixels I'm going to set a pattern to use I'll use uh, pool bottom. Okay. Now I'll draw a, a line down the center and divide our section. The center of course was at 480. And in the lower right of the screen you see the position of the cursor. It doesn't have to be super precise but get as close as you can. I won't waste time trying to be super precise. Okay so I click once to draw the line and I've created a point. Now I press and hold the shift key and move the mouse and now I can draw a line. I'm still holding down the shift key. So now I want my line to be at 480 and I click one more time and there's my line. Now I'll divide that into half. So I need a line at 240. Click one time, press the shift and hold it. Now I'm drawing a line go down to 240, it's close, close enough, and over at 720. Click one time to start, hold down the shift key, draw a line, go down to the other end, and click one time, and there's my line. Now I'll use transparencies. I'm going to delete these white sections to make them transparent. And I'm going to do that on the layer that I switched to layers. And now I'm going to say layers, layer, transparency, add alpha channel. Now I can make it a transparent. Let's select a different tool. And now I'm going to use a tool called fuzzy select fuzzy select tool. I'm going to select multiple areas. So I click first in the first section and you see the marching ants say this section's cut selected. Now I'm going to hold in the shift key and I'm going to select the next section, the next section, and the next section. Now edit, clear, the checkerboard tells me there's nothing there. That this is transparent. So now I have a layer with three lines down the three 
vertical lines and the rest is transparent and that's what I want so now edit select none rather so the marching ants go away now I'm going to rename that layer I'm in the layer I right click and I get a pop-up menu that says edit layer attributes and that'll let me change the name I'm going to call this portrait okay now I'm going to create a new layer layer new layer same size okay I'm going to turn off the portrait lines my new layer is also transparent since I have transparency on now the in landscape view I'll get the top section which is for me is 480 so I'm going to draw another line I'll go back to the the clone tool I'm still at 50 percent circle 100 I'll give it a different pattern this time I'll use red cubes so we have different color of lines I'll draw a line at 480 click one time hold down the shift go over to the other side click and there's the horizontal line but this is 960 wide and my screens only 800 so it's going to trim 80 off of each side so I need to draw another line at 80 click hold down shift go down to 80 click over to 880 click hold down shift go down to the intersection of the line click so this template is complete and this I'll rename I'll right click edit layer attributes this one I'll name landscape so that's done now I can have both of them visible at the same time file save as I'm going to save this as template Android wallpaper dot XCF. I want an XCF which is the default GIMP because I want to maintain these layers. Save. Okay. Now I have a photo I want to use for a background. This photo is 2690 by 1793, which is way too big. So here's how my template is going to work. To open the photo, it's file open as layers. This is important. It has to open as layers. And then I'll pick file colors. And you see it's way too big. So one thing I'll need to do is scale it. So layer, scale layer, and instead of doing it in pixels I'm going to do it in a percentage and I'll use 55 percent simply because I've already toyed with it and that worked for me okay so here's my image now I'll do tools transform tools and move I could have just hit the letter M so now I can move my picture around and I get the checkerboard at the bottom means I've moved it all the way out of my image uh, my background limit so now I can position it kind of roughly but here's the good part the, I'll move this layer layer stack the layers stack up like cards the transparent ones you see through this one's the top layer at the moment so I can't see my other layers I'm going to move this layer to the bottom now I can see all the layers I can see that I'll turn off the landscape layer and this is vertical when I turn on my machine with this wallpaper I'll see these two center panels if I slide to the side I'll see these two panels if I slide the other direction I'll see these two panels so with and my move is still on and I'm clicking on the background so I can move this around some more so that's fine now if I want to see what the landscape is going to be like my landscape won't show any of the yard and the garden. It'll only be trees because you only see the top 480. So now I have a, a good indication of where the visibility will be when I'm using this. 
So this is what I want. So now I'll save the file. To save it, I'll do away with all the lines. And now it's just file, save as. This time I'll save it as a, a wallpaper. Android. And this time I want to save it as a JPEG. So I'll go down to JPEG. And I want to use the extension .jpeg in lowercase letters and say it has to export it and that's fine. So now I've saved the template. When I take this to the Android, I copy it across and then in the Android I use the, the app Wallaby to set this picture as a background. And here's what it'll look like on the Android. On the Android, on the default portrait scene, I get just the center section. If I slide to the left, I get the half of the center section and a new half. If I go to the right, I still get the asparagus and a new half. Here the garden gate you see stays. On the landscape mode, it trims at the top 480, so I only see a forest. I get a totally different image and sliding only slides 80 pixels not very far so you can see these birch trees are in all three pictures because it didn't slide very far so that's how to use the GIMP to create a template and to use a wallpaper to create the wallpaper and we can save that now if I can close that file and to do another one, it's pretty easy. Just open. I'll open and I'll open my template. Now I'll open another file. I'll open its layers and I'll use a winter photo. So this was taken a few days ago. Like before, it's too big, so I'll scale it. Layer, scale layer, and I'll use 55% again and see how that looks. Scale. And now I'm in the move. I can move it around. Now my garden gate and asparagus. Garden gate's there, but the asparagus is long gone. Now I want to move this layer to the bottom. Layer. Stack. Layer to bottom. And now I can see my other lines. The blue lines, the horizontal. Since I'm still in move, I can do the same trick of having the the trees show up in the top or this time I can have some of the snow show up and have my garden gate be the, the focus of the center. This spells out Joyce, J-O-Y-C-E. -E. We have a foot of snow so the E is missing. And now I can just save this and I have another wallpaper. If I want to see what the portrait is going to be like, it'll be these four sections here so I've got my gate centered very nicely. I want to see what the landscape will be like. I'll be seeing the trees and half a field of, of snow. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.